For number one, a machine part to be machined may be made either from an alloy of aluminum or steel. There is an order for 8,000 units. Steel cost 3 pesos and 80 centavos per kilogram, while aluminum cost 8 pesos and 70 centavos per kilogram. If steel is used, the steel per unit weighs 110 grams, for aluminum, 30 grams. When steel is used, 50 units can be produced per hour. For aluminum, 80 units per hour with the aid of a tool costing 640 pesos, but will be useless after the 8,000 units are finished. The cost of the machine and operator is 10 pesos and 80 centavos per hour. If all other costs are identical, determine which material will be more economical. So for this example, we're going to compare two materials, steel and aluminum. So let's first solve for steel. So kay steel, susulat lang natin dito. For steel. Ano bang gagastusin natin kay steel? So, we have 3 pesos and 80 centavos per kilogram. So, lagay natin dito material cost. So, we have material cost. So, magkano daw ang material cost? 3.80 pesos. Pero ito kasi is per kilogram. Tapos ang steel mo lang daw is 110 grams. So kung grams ito, gawin nating kilogram. So yung 110 i divide natin by 1000 para maging kilogram. So divide by 1000. So ilan na ito kapag pinag times? We have 0.418 So, okay na tayo kay material cost. Ano pang sunod na gastos? Meron daw tayong machine and operator is 10 pesos and 80 centavos per hour. So, ilalagay din natin siya kay steel. Ilagay natin is labor and machine. So, labor and machine. So, yung 10 pesos and 80 centavos is per hour. Tapos, may sinabi din siya na kapag si steel daw ang ginamit, makakapag-produce ka ng 50 units per hour. So, ibig sabihin... I-divide natin si 50 kay 10.80. So, 10.80 divided by 50. So, ilan naman ito? We have 0 0.216. Okay? Tapos, Meron ba tayong iba pang gagamitin? So, wala naman. Kasi yung tool na binanggit is para kay aluminum. So, itotal na natin itong dalawa. This is equal to 0 0.634. Itong 0.634, ito yung total cost or cost per piece. So, ilagay natin dito cost So, ayan. So, kinuha muna natin per piece kung magkano ang presyo niya. Tapos, since alam na natin kung magkano per piece, 
i-times na natin siya kay 8,000. Kasi yun yung um, in-order sa atin, 8,000 units. So, cost per, ilagay naman natin dito is cost per 8,000 units. So, para ma-solve to, dapat itong per piece, ita-times natin kay 8,000. So, kapag tinimes natin, lalabas na 5,072 pesos. So, this is in pesos kasi cost ang ating pinag-uusapan. So, lagyan natin ang peso sign dito. So, itong 5,000, para pa lang kay steel, so hindi pa tayo tapos, meron pa tayong kay aluminum. So, itong si steel, lagay lang natin dito. So, ayan. So, for aluminum naman, So, ganun din kung ano yung ating ginawang analysis dito. So, material cost kaya ni aluminum. So, we have material cost. So, magkano naman daw ang presyo ni aluminum? 8 pesos and 70 centavos. Again, per kilogram din siya. So, ilagay muna natin si 8 pesos and 70 centavos. Ilan ang unit weight ni aluminum? 30 grams. Again, nakagrams. So, i-divide natin by 1,000 para maging kilogram. So, divide 1,000. And this is equal to 0.5 So, kay material cost pa lang yan. Eh, si labor and machine. So, si labor and machine is 10 pesos and 80 centavos pa rin. Kasi sa sabi, all other costs are identical. So, labor, lagay ulit natin, labor and machine. So, si 10 pesos... And 80 centavos. Saan naman natin siya i-divide? So, ilan ba yung nagagawa ni, ni aluminum per hour? So, 80 units. So, divided by 80 units. So, ilan daw ito? We have 0.13 So, tapos na ba tayo? So, hindi pa kasi meron pang dinagdag na tool na 640. So, isulat natin dito is tool. So, 640 pero may kasunod which will be useless after the 8,000 units. Ibig sabihin si 640 ay nakatadhana lang talaga na para sa 8,000. So, parang ganun yung sinasabi niya. So, kukunin natin per piece, kaya si 640, i-divide natin siya by 8,000. Kasi kukunin natin per piece, eh, di ba yun yung una nating analysis? So, ito ay equal sa 0.0 So, ayan, kompleto na tayo kay aluminum. So, makukuha na natin yung cost per piece. Cost per piece. So, ilan kaya ang total nito? So, we have 0.476. 0.476. Tapos, 
Magkano naman kaya kapag 8,000 units na? So, cost per 8,000 units. So, itong 0.476 times 8. So, 8,000. So, ilan kaya ang total? We have 3,808 pesos. Again, cost ang pinag-uusapan. So, dapat in peso sign. So, ito na ang kay aluminum. So, ayan. So, ano na ang ating magiging sagot? Ang tanong is, determine which material will be more economical. Therefore, so isulat na natin dito, kami tayo ibang color ng pen. Therefore, so ayan, lang, magiging. Si aluminum, aluminum, is more economical. Therefore, si aluminum is more economical. Dahil, makikita naman natin sa cost ng 8,000, 3,000 lang ang magagastos kay aluminum. So, 5,000 naman kay steel. So, mas mura si aluminum. Kaya, aluminum is more economical.